Uh, we're back. Oh, no. <laughs> we're back? <laughs> no, no, keep going. Keep going. Are well, you kidding? I'm not kidding. We are back. Wow. Talk to me. Okay. Talk to me about your I was going to go get a drink. No, okay, go fine. get a drink. I'll, I'll, I'll right. entertain the viewers. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Civ 6. No, no, I'm no. Go, get a drink. Go get it. Yeah, go fine. get a drink. <laughs> Okay, welcome to Civ Six, guys. I, we're doing this, this is we're returning to our scuffed style. I just randomly hit record in the middle of a sentence, so I'm you know, drinking a drink. Enjoy I'm that. Coming back from my drink. Anyway, um, so ah, I, I Wolfie be feeling the burnout of Fallout Four and Star Control Origins, so we decided, you know what? Let me play some Civ Six and and like blow off some steam. And then, I don't know if this will turn into a series proper or not, but, like, I'm going to play some Civ Six, and I just decided to hit yeah. record. Actually, before yeah. I do that, let me make sure that the recording is working. Okay, it is. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, that would be <laughs> real that awkward. That would suck. All right, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going to play um, a real quick game as Gorgo, because uh, why not? <laughs> why the heck yeah. not? I don't know. So for the uninitiated, Civ Six is a game where you uh, launch nukes at people. Uh-huh. You can, yeah, like... It, I don't... There's... Okay. Everybody has to know what civilization is, right? Like, if you don't know what civilization is... Um... Please tell me what rock you've been living under. Because I'd okay. like to go there. I think that civilization, while it's a known game, is not a very popular genre. Mm. So that? maybe not everybody knows what it is. By the way, do you have a timer running? No. Of course you don't. But yes. <laughs> hey... Um, everyone, when I'm yeah. on timer duty, I forget. Uh, it's fine. It, it doesn't matter that much. We um, we're we're just gonna do this for <laughs> however long we feel like it. Point being, yeah. like uh, everybody knows the idea behind civilization, right? You are a civilization, and it's your job to take over the world. Civilize. Yeah, and so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm playing as Gorgo because why the heck not? Yeah. Uh, you wanted, I'm going to go for the Slinger Gambit. Um, go for it. The, the, the Slinger Things gambit. are happening fast. Okay, so he started an upgrade with uh, Pottery, and then he's got Code of Laws going, do so you, you have do you to want get... Me to, do you want me to, like, explain every decision that I make as no, I'm No, 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 you, you play the game. Oh. You play the game. Uh, I'll explain it. All right, cool. So you have these things called techs, which is what the Pottery is. So as you get techs, you get higher levels of scientific advancement and things, and then your um, culture, or your code of laws is what he's currently upgrading there, is all about your um, style of, uh, of uh, government, and governmental policies for different buffs and whatnot. Um, you've got Sparta! Yeah, I, I was gonna say, like, you're, you're doing a pretty good job of explaining, I wonder when you're gonna stop. <laughs> like, I wonder when you're gonna start running out of things to say. When I needed to take a drink, that's when. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to explain my decision for every... Like, my decision-making for everything that I'm doing. Um, yeah. One, partially because... I mean, I'm playing this on not, average yeah, difficulty, yeah. and I'm not very good at Civ. Let's be real. Like, that's okay. Uh, we'll be bad at video game. See, what I usually do is I go all the way to the end of the list and just line up nukes. Uh, oh, you and it'll just automatically like, upgrade everything. All the way down here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but... The, that's the main the thing fun. that I'm trying to do right now, and these guys are being very naughty and not helping. The main thing that I would like to do would be to kill a unit with this slinger. Um, the reason mm -hmm. I need and, and kill is in like last hit. The reason I want to do that is because uh, there's a tech called archery uh, yeah, yeah. right here, and you can speed it up by killing someone with a slinger. Yes, and I would like to do that because archery is a really really good tech. Aside from that. The main strategy that I'd like to go for, at least in this like early uh, ancient era stuff, is I'd like to buff my capital to make it a really good base for spamming settlers. Settlers are oh, what yeah, you yeah. used to make. So More what cities. I, what I used to do was I would spam settlers quite early, but I'd find that I'm stretching myself a little too thin. So instead of spamming settlers uh, early... Actually, I need the scout to go pick up that another barbarian hut up there. Ooh. Okay, maybe current objective is survive for now. <laughs> yeah. Give me the lord. Um, Good lord. Eh? No, no, no. I'll be fine. But, uh... Don't. Like, my... Nice. Yeah. He got him. Um, Perfect. These are barbarians, by the way. They're, like, early game trash mobs. Neutral enemies. Yeah. They're early game trash. 
<laughs> Actually, I might be. Barbarians are neutral enemies that you can kill to uh, just get experience early I, on. For I your might units. be the early game trash because I might lose this warrior. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, yep. they're almost dead. Wow. Oh, they got promotion. Hey, hey they can promote. We got saved. They'll the survive bell. for another turn. Saved by the bell. Now they'll survive. For a while. So the idea is to be either the last nation standing if you're going for a military victory. Mm -hmm. Or you can go for a science victory where you basically launch a ton of stuff into space and become a scientific uh, superpower. Mm -hmm. You can go through culture, which is you have the best government in the world and basically everyone just follows you. Everyone loves you. Yep. Or you can go for a religion victory, which yeah, you basically Ooh. converted the world to your religion. Okay, so question. Should I go for not a religious victory, because it's boring. If I'm being completely honest, not only is a religious victory the most boring type of victory in the game, is all you gotta it's do is... Counter. It, it, it's, it's simultaneously easy and hard, because yep. you... If you go for a religious victory, you already know, like, oh, I'm going for a religious victory. Yeah. That means that everybody knows you're going for a like, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Um, it's very, uh -huh. it, I don't know, it's kind of bland, because... It's a very black and white victory where it's like, you know if somebody is going for it, yeah. and it's easier to stop as long as you've got your own established religion. Also, the AI really... It likes, really hates religious victories. They really um, like to go. For, well, some some AIs really like to go for religious victories. Yes. And they won't they won't try to do anything else, which means like if you stop them, which I hope you do, because you're going for a religious victory, then like that whole civilization is essentially They're not just a player. Dead in the water. Yeah. So yeah. it it, it kind of makes the game more boring. So I'm gonna go for a religion, but like everything in this game, religion is a tool for me to make money. Um, money. And <laughs> Stick is oh yeah, you can go for an economic victory, I think, too. Mm, can you? No, not really. Uh, no, I don't. So, okay. Where is it? I don't remember. World rankings. So we got science victory. We got culture victory. Oh, diplomatic. That was the other Diplom one. Yeah, yeah, everybody likes you. Which, the AI really hates this one, too. Yeah, um, you get diplomatic points every time you get a policy to pass. Mm -hmm. um, and so some other functions. And I'm also I'm I'm usually pretty good at going for diplomatic victory, and I could go for a religious victory if I wanted, but I don't want to because they're both kind of domination. Boring. What I would like to do, everyone. and it's par partially like part of the reason why I'm uh, playing as Gorgo, is because I want to go for a domination victory, and Gorgo has some nice military bonuses that'll help me get there. Uh, yeah. Alternatively. Let's say that I can't go for this. I'm going to go for a science victory. Science, yeah. It's launching... like domination is the easiest because the game is based around militaries. Well, it's the most straightforward. Right. It's also... And then you've got science, which is just you're always progressing through science. Just at different rates. Yeah. So, um, so my... I think the most complicated ones are definitely the... Um, the... Uh, the, 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 yep. the, I'm stuttering. Wow. Yeah. Good lord. Grab one of those. Religious victory and the world political one. Political are you saying those theater. are the hardest or the most complex? Those are the, those are the most complex and most difficult gotcha. to achieve on an easy playing Another field. Give me that upgrade and then give me money. Also, I'm already behind on area score. That's a good sign. That's great. I, but you I, get a pantheon. Yeah, I keep so. forgetting that Like, I'm supposed to... Uh, What's it called? You now get to worship the old gods and get a little buff to something. Uh, yeah. Um, so, generally speaking, fertility rights is my favorite. Is it's just your cities grow faster. More city growth. Uh, aside from that, my other favorites are... If I'm playing as a naval sub, which I'm not right now, but if I was, I'd do God of the Sea, because it's fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then otherwise, Divine Spark is always really good. Yeah. But this one, this one works for now. And what I'm doing here is I, I'm checking to see where my citizens are working. As you can see, I've got citizens working the horses, the maze, and the stone. And then my fourth citizen is working in this woods, like, Woods Hills tile. Um, yep. I can't upgrade lost this. production. Yeah, I can't upgrade this tile right now with a builder, though, because I haven't unlocked lumber camps. So my builder right now, while I have him, and he's really nice, he's kind of useless. So I'm just going to have him chill in my capital until I can yeah. find something more useful for him to do. Why haven't you gotten another settler? Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to get Sparta to... Uh, well, 
There's a couple uh, things I want to do. Yeah, there's a couple things I want to do before I do that. And actually, I can start working on stuff right now. But there's a couple things I want to do. The first thing would be to get my governor, which is Magnus. Uh, oh, a, a, nah. lot of, a lot of people want to go actual for, governor. for Pingala uh, early on, but... Magnus is yep. my pick because surplus or not surplus provision settlers. You get a lot of city. bonuses to your gold production, yeah. No gold production and, is and population. Rain gold production is Reyna over here. What? But, um, no. <laughs> Come on. But like, so my my current objective is to get Sparta. I'll probably build this one settler out. But my current objective is to get Sparta to be a really nice food base, where I can just grow my entire sieve from because Sparta's got all the food. You are about to be in a dark age. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix <laughs> you it. You only need eight points. Come on, man. Yeah. So I'm playing on double speed. Super fast. Yeah. yeah. Um, normally, I'd have about twice the amount of time to do all that fun crap. But yeah, uh, because I think a normal game is a thousand turns. Now it's 500. Well, that's an online game. I think it's 500. No, I think online I... game is 250. I'm playing in oh. online speed right now. So a normal game is 500. You might be thinking it's a thousand because if you play with two players, like it feels like a thousand. It feels turns. like a thousand because both yeah. players have their turn. <laughs> well, Especially, you take them simultaneously, technically. Yeah, but it still can feel pretty I'm slow. Good. Right, so I'm yeah. a little bit behind. I get rid of that. Especially when I'm sitting there contemplating of who I want to nuke. Yeah, Stick and I sometimes play. We'll go yep, with, he plays uh, way more than me, but yes. I play way more than him. Although I don't play on this speed very often, so... You know, we'll see well, whether or not... it's almost too fast. You know? A little bit, but I wanted this series to be like... Um, well, yeah, you don't want oh. it to be seven years long. Hi, Okay, horsemen. well, that's... Uh, Barbarians have horsemen. That's well, certainly... At least you have archers. Uh, yeah, I might have to sacrifice this scout, at least for the time being. That's certainly a thing. Okay, and that's going to slow me down a little bit. Yeah, so if barbarians spawn near a horse tile, uh, they get access to horsemen early. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a problem. It's a little bit of a bitch. So, when... Because I do eventually want to stream this game. When I end up streaming this game, uh, what I would like to do would be have, like, a current objective. Um, like, text overlay on my, on my freaking OBS studio. And uh -huh. uh, it would say, essentially, where my mindset is and what I would like to do. My current objective is to Do we to attach nodes to your temples and have it, like, predict what you're actually going to do? I, I don't... I don't get what you're saying. You know, like, predictive algorithms to figure out what your mind is actually thinking at the current oh, time. Oh, no, 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 no. More Like, more if like... you suddenly get hungry, it'll just say, like, tacos <laughs> or something. I'm saying more like, um, for me, like, I would say, like, here's what mm. I'm currently trying to do. And when yeah. that uh, horseman showed up, my current objective was to survive, because horsemen can be super deadly. But my now current objective is to try to avoid a dark age, and I need one era score to do so, which I might fail. Yeah. You never know. But I just had a really good idea for uh, streams. Uh, oh, I, we I play succeeded. games that we're really good at, mm -hmm. and we put a timer up to see how fast we can beat them. Kind of uh, like a speed run, but on like our own personal. Well, that's not good. But but oh. yes. No, no, no. It's a good idea. Finding oh. enemy art. I would play portable. That'd be me. That's a lot of barbarians. Holy cow. That's... Wow. Early game. You've been kind of swarmed. A little bit. I had one here, and then I've got this one up here, and this one down here. So... Yep. In this ancient yeah, era... And it's, time. and it's fine to be a little bit surrounded by barbarians, as long as you know That's what you're doing. That's a lot of free XP. As long as you know what you're doing militarily, which I sort do of do. I might lose this archer. <laughs> I'm probably oh, that. I'm probably gonna lose this arch. Well, because I can't retreat anywhere oh, like, meaningful. Yeah. So Oof. best I could do would be to try to bait these guys out with my scout. I mean, I could just jump on their like outpost, but this archer is probably dead. So I don't think I'm, your scout can make it. I mean, he can. He can make it there right oh, now. Oh, he can. Okay, okay. But that would be kind of oh, yeah, a, it's just for us. It's a not dumb guns. idea. So what I what I I do mm -hmm. I do have a new archer. Here's what I'm gonna do. Big brain play here. I'm gonna get as much damage on this guy as I can. And then I'm yeah. going to delete my archer. What? Oh, I can't delete him because I already used him. So no. I guess I'm just going to let him die. Because, um, yeah, he's super going to die. Um, and hello. Hi, Alexander. Oh, wow. What's we got, up? 
We got both pieces up, of. Uh, I don't have voices on. I need to turn that on. Oh, 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 oh. He's just miming. He's a yeah. mute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you, yada yada. Um, give me a second. Oh man. We gotta turn voices. Turn the voices on. on. Let's see. We need Option, to hear the voices in our audio, head. Audio, speech. Your Majesty. There we go. That's good. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. Alexander, which he is Macedon, not Greece, um, but most people treat him as Greece. Speaking of Greece. I mean, he's basically the Greeks. Yeah. Dang it. All right, so... Um, and luckily, he didn't get stabbed 37 times in the chest. I thought that was um, Caesar. Not, not. Yeah, that was Caesar. Yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't get stabbed 37 times. So, here's the... I, here's the spot of trouble. Meant. Yeah, here's the spot of trouble that I'm in. These archers are super gonna die. Like they're dead. They got spearmen and two sets of archers looking mm -hmm. at them. Yeah. So they're dead. I want to build a city up here though, because we've got the river, we've got a mountain here, I've got a hill tile that I can put it on to make Ooh, it defensible, yeah. and I've got maze. Uh, problem is, again, there's all these barbarians up here. So what I'm probably gonna do is, once I am done researching that, I'll go towards hoplites, and then kick these guys' butts. Nice. Take Hoplites over. are terrible, by the way. They're they're just okay, man. Um, so each each horses. civilization gets their own like specialty unit, or at least most do. Um, Hoplites say, are the oh, I can't remember. They're the trade off for the spearmen, aren't they're they? The, the Greek replacement for the spearmen. There's also barbarian yeah. warriors up here. Dang. Lovely. Okay. Um. Oh, they're goodbye, they're, archers. Yeah, they're definitely they're definitely <laughs> dead. Goodbye. <laughs> but you got masonry, um, so. Start uh, building walls. I, I don't need to wall up just yet. I can. Some better stuff than that. Yeah. So, first step is probably to recall that warrior. Second uh, step would be to start working on hoplites. Yeah. And then I also would like to not lose this scout if I can avoid it. So, I'm going to seek out some good terrain to stand on. Actually, right here, right here should be fine. That's yeah, that's about as best as you can get. And uh, and I'm gonna boot this guy just because I'm mad at him. Yeah. <laughs> but um. Oh look, a city state. Lovely. Uh, it's been been down there for a little bit. Oh, I didn't know. Uh. Okay. Make sure below. to establish your government. <laughs> um, Governor. Governor. And, and your government policies if you change them. But. Yeah, and and if uh if it seems like I'm moving fast, that's on purpose. That's what I am. We don't need to explain everything. You can kind of tell what's going on. Oh god! People getting back. The people are gonna like the the people. I like our viewers are gonna be like, no, you gotta explain everything. You gotta explain yourselves. <laughs> like everything no, is moving no. so fast, and I have no idea what's going on. Everyone here is chill. It's fine. <laughs> well, not everyone here is chill. The barbarians are very not chill. Yeah, the barbarians but... are very not chill, but that's mm. okay. Ron's working to chop rainforest. Okay. I am going to chop some rainforest in about four turns once my governor gets established. Oh, nah. Mm -hmm. So oh, the, nah. Good, the good thing about having these barbarians around, uh, especially these ones, which I'm going to have to get rid of, but the good thing about... <laughs> Dear lord. All right. You are having some issues. The good thing... The thing that would be good about having them around is that uh -huh. they would theoretically uh, attack my rival up here to the north, Alexander. Right. Um, now, they're not doing that right now, which, you know, uh, hey, that's fair. They're barbarians. They can attack whoever they want. But, yeah. um, like, uh, theoretically speaking, they could weaken him. Hello. Where'd you come from? Hi. Hi. Uh, it's an Hello. honor to meet you. We would love to sample your hospitality. Let's be cordial. Um, so who were they? That's Nubia. Also, we're in the classical era. <laughs> oh, right. They're, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're <laughs> the town is named. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I, f I feel like the when they eh. asked what the town was supposed to be named, the uh, person just kind of gave a shrug and said, eh. and the, and that's what eh. they named it. So good on them. Um, all right. So that was the ancient era. It was messy. Uh, there's a lot of barbarian fighting. And there's probably going to continue to be more barbarian fighting. Um, especially considering... You're right, I probably should wall up at this point. Uh, especially considering oh horse archers and crap. So, 
again, what I'm going to do is in two turns, I'll chop this rainforest. And my current objective would be to establish and fortify the city that I'm going to build with this settler. Mm. That'll be my objective for the next... until it's safe. Seven years? Yeah, well, until it's safe. And, and you know, depending on how well I do, will depend on how long that's going to take. If yep, my archers fair. get shot up like that, then I it probably won't be Probably take a little longer. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can get rid of that one now. It's a little bit of extra money. That'd be nice. And I'm start working on being able to flank people. So um, when Wolfie and I play this game, um, oftentimes he turns into my sugar daddy because I run out of money like no else. Yes. Awful. Yes. Yes, he does. <laughs> he's, um, he's, uh... How do we say it? I'm much more of the tech tree guy. Than... He's more of the economy guy. Oh. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I There's a part of me that really enjoys making money. Well, I mean, I think everybody enjoys making money. Everybody enjoys but making like, money. But like in the yes. game, in the game, there's a part of me that prides myself in being able to um, hmm. make Have a stable economy. Yeah, like a very good economy to the point where essentially nobody's able to surprise me because if they surprise declare war, I can spend a lot of money and buy units to right. get myself out of a bind. Um, and and more than that, like you can use gold for, you know, use it for bartering. You can use it for um, stopping a war that you really don't want to fight. You can use it to start a war. You can bribe other people to start wars yeah. on your behalf. Like there's a lot of things you can do with gold. It's very versatile. These archers are taking a. You can do a lot of things with nukes as well. Yeah, Stick has quite the affinity for bombs of the nuclear variety. Yeah. Um, Sparta, your sixth citizen is working where? Woods. Woods, woods, woods. Over everybody, in the woods. Okay. Everybody likes working in the woods. All right. Yeah, I think most of the time they go for, like, the most valuable tiles. Correct. And I can sort of... So. I, can, I can, like, encourage them to go for... Influence. What, whatever, stuff, yeah. but I... Usually leave them, leave them be. You're a little low on the old amenities there. Uh, it's because I have so many people. Yep. So now that I have Magnus established, and now that he has his upgrade where I don't consume settler population, it's time to yeah. build settlers like there's no tomorrow. Um, that is going to require a pretty strong military, and so what I'll probably actually what I should probably do is grab a third archer, and I'll be able to. Mm, if I chop this, then it's going to be... Oh, okay, I'll work on the settler. But I'll be able to get an archer in two turns. So hopefully these archers survive and we can continue. And I should also probably get these guys to start moving up there. I'm going to need them for fighting against these barbs. Hmm. Oop. Oop. So this scout, aside from the fact that I have military policies slotted that are giving me bonuses, that yep. scout is also winning because he's standing in better terrain. He is standing in the woods, which gives him a defense bonus, versus this scout who is standing on the floodplain, which gives him a defense penalty. <laughs> so, especially early in the game, but like, for literally every other engagement like for every military engagement the terrain has uh something to do with it uh, later on it's like it, it's a lot less important but it's still important it's always important what are oh, yeah. you guys you guys are pit pit toddy archers okay i guess they're just special archers whoa yeah that, that, i don't know what to make of that right now we're not we're not fighting with them uh thankfully and as yeah. The score up here can point out I'm actually not doing super hot. Now, part of that is because I got mobbed by like three, four barbarian camps at the very start. But part of right. that is also because I haven't built any cities uh, aside from my capital, which is what I am attempting to a remedy. A little bit behind on. Yep. Yeah. I'm attempting to remedy that right now. Uh, archery, please. Just stop being a scrub. A little bit, yeah. I, I, you use that. I mean, I guess you could yeah. say that. Um. Boy, these people really like trees. Okay, we'll move this builder up to where my new. <laughs> we city love is the forest. Mm. 
they, they really like working yeah, on live in the forest. Hopefully, me getting a new government. Do we have a mountain around well, here that I can? Maybe? Yes, we can. Grab this mountain. Um, hopefully, me getting a new government will. Oh wow. So here's another thing, right? Envoys, uh, which allow Goal you to take control states. of city states. Uh, because I'm so far behind both of these guys, I'm not even going to spend my envoy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save them, and uh, later on in the game. Undiscovered. Later on in the game, I tend to spend them only to maintain control of the city states that I already have. Oh, yeah. But that considering I don't have any, I'm just going to keep saving them. Hey, they got rid of that barbarian camp. That's Hooray! both good and bad news. Bad news, because that means this scout is going to be very aggressive. Means I need to be careful about where I place that settler. Um, and these guys just stormed out of their camp into a pretty stinking bad spot. Uh, yeah, a little bit. That that that's a, a horrible spot to stand. Is I can hit you from there. Um, I can hit you from here. Yep. And then I can hit you from here. How are you wanting to do this as well? We're at 24. Oh, I was thinking we would do like like 15 minute episodes oh like quick fire so we are already over time but that's okay we'll, we'll uh, that's okay we'll take a break here right take after so i did get rid of the barbarian camp yeah hooray um, we'll take a break here and uh we'll continue this next time cool bye bye ah. yeah that was that was fun Let's do it again. I didn't realize you only wanted to go for 15. And, uh, I thought you wanted to hit like 20, 25, but uh, okay. 